You probably know Warren Buffett as one of the wealthiest people in the world, the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, a company he has built over time. Buffett has accumulated a net worth of $98.2 billion. That's pretty remarkable. But what's even more impressive than his billions is his frugal habits and astute financial mindset. The business magnate is widely recognized for his ability to identify profitable opportunities, negotiate deals, and invest wisely. And while it may seem like there aren't many secrets left when it comes to accumulating wealth, some surprising habits have allowed Mr. Buffett to amass so much capital in such a short period of time. In this video, we'll look at 10 money habits that keep most people broke and poor, and be sure to stay until the end because the last ones are definitely the worst to avoid if you want to steer clear of a lifetime of poverty and misery. Money doesn't just appear once you get your first job and start making money. You need to have good money habits to save, invest it, and have it work for you rather than against you. It is especially important for young individuals who are just starting out in their jobs and do not yet have a lot of money. Good money habits are essential for a prosperous financial future. Without them, not only will your bank account stay empty, but also your life will be filled with stress, anxiety, and desperation every time you look at it. However, bad habits will not make you poor today but will rather set you up for future poverty when retirement comes and your savings account is almost non-existent. From not forming a healthy money habit to inflating your lifestyle, here are the 10 money habits that keep you broken. Number one, not forming a healthy money habit. If you're not disciplined with your spending and don't have a budget, it's easy to overspend and find yourself in debt. It is critical to ensure that you are investing your money intelligently rather than merely pouring it into savings accounts or keeping it completely in cash. Poor financial practices can also contribute to financial stress and difficulties making ends meet. As a result, one must be aware of one's spending patterns and make a concerted effort to develop healthy money habits. Warren Buffett is one of the world's most successful investors, and he credits much of his success to his sound financial practices. He recommends individuals to invest in high-quality firms with a competitive edge and reinvest their profits. Most behavior is habitual, Buffett said at the University of Florida in 2007. The chains of habit are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken. He went on to say that it's preferable to focus on creating healthy financial habits while breaking poor ones. You may start developing your money instead of merely watching others become wealthy by following these simple recommendations. Number two, not having a budget. If you're not careful, money can slip through your fingers without realizing it. This is especially true if you do not have a budget. It's simple to spend money on items you don't need if you don't have a budget. For example, you may eat out more than you should or purchase unneeded products merely because they are on sale. It is critical to remember that just because something is on sale does not obligate you to purchase it. Excessive purchasing is one of the easiest ways to wreck your money. To go ahead financially, you must begin tracking your expenses and setting a budget. These will assist you in remaining attentive of your spending patterns and making smarter financial decisions. Before we continue, we have a little assignment for you. What could it possibly be? Here it is. Please take a moment to subscribe and enable notifications to remain up to date on our latest videos. Number three, lack of emergency savings. It's no secret that one of the key reasons people are broke and poor is that they don't have any emergency savings. Warren Buffett famously stated, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. Why is having emergency savings so important? Because it provides a safety net in case something goes wrong. Life is unpredictably unpredictable and anything may go wrong at any time. If you don't have emergency funds, you're far more likely to get into debt if anything unexpected happens. I think it's crazy to be spending 105% of your income, and I think that that leads to all kinds of problems, Buffett said. There are two main reasons why people don't have emergency savings. The primary issue is that they do not make enough money. It might be difficult to save anything if your salary is minimal. The second reason is that people often spend everything they earn instead of putting some aside for a rainy day. To get out of the cycle of being broke and poor, you must start building up an emergency fund. 
Aim to save three to six months worth of living costs so that you can support yourself if something goes wrong. Remember to start small if necessary. Even $5 each week might stack up over time. Number four, keeping up with the Joneses. Trying to keep up with your friends and neighbors is a surefire way to spend more than you can afford. It is ideal if you concentrate on your financial objectives rather than what others have. You're probably keeping up with the Joneses if you're like most folks. They're the family down the street with the new vehicle, the huge house, and the ideal life. They always appear to have money, which makes you wonder how they do it. The fact is that the Joneses are probably like you. They live paycheck to paycheck and are in debt up to their eyes. The difference is that they've learned to live within their means and save money rather than waste it. If you want to keep up with or even outperform the Joneses, you must adjust your spending habits. Begin by conserving money rather than wasting it. Put away at least 10% of your salary in savings so that you have something to fall back on when things go rough. By following these simple tips, you can stop chasing after the Joneses. Number five, not tracking your spending. Not knowing where your money is going is a recipe for financial disaster. You need to be aware of your spending patterns in order to make changes where necessary. If you want to improve your financial situation, you must be conscious of your spending habits. Too many individuals let their finances fly by the seat of their pants, and as a result, they never truly know where their money is going. This lack of understanding might trap you in a cycle of debt and financial trouble. To prevent this disaster, keep meticulous track of your expenses. Understand where your money goes each month and make any adjustments. Buffett suggests keeping a basic ledger to track all of your expenses so you always know where your money is going. This may appear to be a difficult process, but it is necessary if you want to get control of your finances. Once you've started tracking your spending, you'll be able to make changes that will help you save money and meet your financial objectives. Number six, making impulse purchases. We've all been there before. You see something you want and buy it without thinking twice. This is known as an impulsive buy, and it is a significant money habit that can keep you impoverished and poor. Why? Because impulsive purchases are undertaken without consideration or preparation. They are frequently needless and can rapidly pile up. If you find yourself making impulse purchases on a regular basis, it's time to take a step back and evaluate your spending patterns. They are usually driven by emotions such as excitement, happiness, or anger. And while they may give you short-term gratification, they will only leave you broke and in debt in the long run. Here are some pointers to help you avoid making impulsive purchases. Before you go shopping, make a list of what you need. This will help you stay focused and avoid purchasing unnecessary items. Set a budget for your shopping trip and stick to it. This will save you from splurging on unneeded purchases. Avoid shopping while you're in a bad mood. If you're angry, sad, or stressed, you're more likely to make impulsive decisions that you'll regret later on. When making a purchase, take your time. If an item is on sale but you're not sure you need it, put it off for a day or two. You might realize that you don't really need it after all. Number seven, you don't diversify. If you're not diversified, you're in for a world of hurt. Diversification, according to Buffett, is protection against ignorance. That's because diversification is key to mitigating risk and ensuring that your portfolio can weather any storm. You can offset losses in one area with gains in another by spreading your investments across different asset classes, industries, and geographical regions. Without diversification, you're putting all of your eggs in one basket, which is a recipe for disaster. So if you want to stay financially afloat, diversify your holdings. Number eight, lacking a financial plan. If you're like most Americans, you probably don't have a personal financial plan. In fact, according to the 2021 Modern Wealth Survey conducted by Schwab, less than one third, 33% of American adults have a written financial plan. Without a financial plan, it's easy to make poor financial decisions that can lead to bankruptcy and debt. For example, you may be tempted to make rash decisions about major life expenses or to spend money impulsively on unnecessary purchases. A lack of financial planning can also result in issues such as not having enough money saved for retirement or being unprepared for unexpected life events. 
A written financial plan is essential if you want to get ahead financially. Set goals for yourself and your family first, then make a budget and track your progress over time. You may also want to consider working with a financial planner to help you get started. Number 9. Paying lots of taxes. Paying taxes is an important part of living in a society. They help to fund the government and provide for the common good. Paying taxes, on the other hand, can be a burden, especially when they are high. Some people may attempt to avoid paying taxes, but this is rarely possible or prudent. Finally, in order to keep society running smoothly, everyone must pay their fair share of taxes. There are several strategies you can use to pay your taxes while also saving money. A tax advantage account, such as a 401k or an IRA, is one strategy. Another approach is to itemize your deductions, which can help you save money on taxes by deducting things like mortgage interest, charitable contributions, and medical expenses. You can also benefit from tax credits, which can reduce your tax bill by up to $1,000. Finally, you can try to negotiate a payment plan with the IRS if you cannot pay your taxes in full. Number 10. Inflating your lifestyle. When you live beyond your means, you are essentially spending more money than you have, which can lead to debt and financial problems. Additionally, inflation can erode your purchasing power, making it challenging to keep up with your lifestyle. As a consequence, you may find yourself fighting to make ends meet and live a lifestyle that is far beyond what you can afford. For example, let's assume you make $50,000 a year and spend $40,000 of it. You're living on 80% of your salary and saving 20%, but then you get a raise of $60,000 a year. What do most people do? They start spending $50,000 and live on 83% of their income. Their savings rate lowers to 17%. Lifestyle creep can be dangerous because it means you're never really making progress in your quest to become wealthy. You're always just treading water. To avoid lifestyle creep, you need to be aware of it and make a conscious effort to keep your spending in control as your income grows. One method to achieve this is to utilize the 50-30-20 rule. 50% 50 of your income for essentials like housing and food, 30% for desires like vacation and entertainment, and 20% for savings and investments. You won't find your way out of being broke and destitute if you have these 10 behaviors holding you back. It doesn't matter how much money you make if you don't know how to handle it, says Millionaire Mind program host Dolly J. Now is an excellent time for personal reflection with the new year on its way. Think about your goal or create a new one inspired by Warren's advice.